Well, President Trump announced a major change to America's trade policies today. He's scrapping NAFTA for a new trade deal with Mexico in talks with Canada. We sent our Lou Ragus to find out what the change could mean for the U.S. and Minnesota. Yeah, we'll get rid of the name NAFTA. It has a bad connotation because the United States was hurt very badly by NAFTA. Blasting the North American Free Trade Agreement between the United States, Canada and Mexico signed in 1994, President Donald Trump announced a new trade deal, leaving out our neighbor to the north. I'll be terminating uh, the existing deal and going into this deal. President Trump aims to move more car production back to the U.S. Under the new agreement, to avoid tariffs, Car companies will have to make 75% of their parts in the U.S. or Mexico, instead of overseas. That's up from 62.5% in the old deal. And they'll have to use more local steel and aluminum. And 40 to 45% of the car must be made by workers earning at least $16 per hour. It will probably raise auto prices. In fact, it almost certainly will. U of M trade expert Robert Cooterly believes the cost of goods will rise. But the stock market reacted very positively to the news of the deal. At least in the very short run, people see this as an optimistic sign. The new deal will affect farmers, although the president hasn't released specific details on the agriculture changes. Our farmers are going to be so happy. You know, my farmers, the farmers have stuck with me. I said we were going to do this. And Mexico's promised to immediately start purchasing as much farm product as they can. They're going to work on that very hard. Mexico is a top three importer for many of Minnesota's crops. The president of Minnesota Farm Bureau says they're excited. They'll review the details, and the U.S. needs to continue to work to bring Canada into the deal. Lou Raguse, CARE 11 News. Mexico's president today stressed that he wants he, that he too wants Canada included in the deal. President Trump says they will begin negotiating and threaten to add tariffs to cars Canada imports if they don't agree to a deal.